Hi, it's Jennifer with Jennifer at Home, and I'm so happy you're here today because I'm going to be making two delightful little appetizers for St. Patrick's Day. The first thing I'm going to do is use green tortilla shells to make some wonderful little tortilla roll-ups, and then I'm going to make a green spinach artichoke dip, and I'm going to cut out some little tortilla shells with the green spinach shells and use those for the dippers. Let me show you how easy and fun these recipes are to put together for St. Patrick's Day. I'm going to be using these Green Garden Spinach Tortilla Shells. Many different companies make spinach tortilla shells. I'm going to take my little clover cookie cutter and I am going to cut out a beautiful little shape of a clover. And then I'll put this little clover on a baking sheet and we'll toast these in the oven. And those will be our little scoopers for our spinach artichoke dip. these adorable little clovers into the oven. I'm just going to toast these slightly. If you'd like, you can brush them with olive oil and put on salt or a seasoning of your choice. While our little tortillas are baking in the oven, let's go ahead and get everything added in to our slow cooker. I have my slow cooker on low just to get started. I have one block of cream cheese and I'm going to start adding some other ingredients. I have a teaspoon of salt and this entire recipe will be listed below. I have mozzarella cheese. I'm just going to put everything in. I have a tablespoon of garlic. If you don't have garlic or minced garlic, you can also use some powdered garlic, whatever you have on hand. I'm going to add in one cup of sour cream. And just put everything right in there together. I'm also going to add one cup of Parmesan cheese. That's exactly what I have left in this container. So I'm going to pour this right in. And then I'm going to add my artichoke hearts. And I have a big handful, which is probably about a cup and a half of torn up spinach. And this is going to be our green element along with our green artichoke hearts. I drained off a little bit of the juice, but I left some of the juice from the artichokes in the can because I don't want my spinach artichoke dip to get dry. Now I'm gonna put the spinach in right on top. We're gonna put the lid on and we'll let this go for three hours. And here's how the homemade slow cooker spinach artichoke dip turned out. It's absolutely delicious. Now we're gonna chop up some dill pickles or you could use pickle relish and we're gonna get ready to fill our green spinach tortilla with wonderful cream cheese mix, ham, and chopped up dill pickles. It makes a delightful little appetizer. Once again, we're gonna use the same green spinach tortillas. I'm just gonna lay this down and I have some softened cream cheese. I'm just gonna take this and spread it out right on the tortilla in a nice thin even layer. Once you have the tortilla completely covered with the cream cheese, it's time to add some other little things. We're gonna go ahead and put on our little chopped up dill pickles. You want to try to make sure you get as much of the juice drained off as you can. And then we'll completely spread them around on the top of the cream cheese. Once you have the pickles all spread out, it's time to put on your lunch meat ham or the meat of your choice. You can tear it to fill in the empty spaces because it won't make any difference because we're going to roll this up and then we're going to cut it into pieces. 
you can tell I've done this before. This is one of my husband's absolute favorites. Now we're gonna start rolling really, really tightly. You wanna make sure that your tortilla shell has not been chilled or cooled in the refrigerator. You wanna make sure that it's nice and flexible. There we go. And once we get this rolled up, we're going to put this in some plastic wrap, nice and tight, and we're going to twist the ends and put it in the refrigerator to chill. Just put it in the plastic wrap, roll it right up, and then just twist the ends. And then you want to get it nice and cold so that that way the cream cheese is all set, everything is nice and in place, and when you go to cut it, it's not going to be squishing down or mushing. It's going to be nice and firm and cold, and it'll be so easy to cut nice, even pieces for your guests as appetizers. Now that our appetizer is all chilled and cold, I'm going to take it out and I'm going to trim off the ends because they're not square. We want the, we'll just set these aside. And then we're gonna take a really sharp knife and just slice and make some really nice slices. And we'll just put these slices right on a little plate. Just like this. And we'll start filling the plate with our spinach and cream cheese ham and pickle appetizers. These are a perfect little bite to put on the side of your plate when you're serving hors d'oeuvres. Try to make them in nice, even thickness. And you can see just how delightful they are. Now it's time to put these little appetizers in the refrigerator with some plastic wrap until it's time for our St. Patrick's Day party to begin. This is how our delightful little spinach chips turned out after I took them out of the oven. They're adorable and delicious. They're perfect for our spinach artichoke dip. I had so much fun putting these St. Patrick's Day recipes together. I hope you give these a try and realize just how fun and how easy they can be. I would love for you to subscribe, hit the notification bell, and the thumbs up button. And I'll see you next time.